watching our skies. This is a live look at Levi Stadium. In fact, we can't even see it through the smoke and haze there. The 49ers hosting the Eagles on Sunday night football. Now, barring a sudden increase in the AQI, the game should go on as scheduled, but there are no guarantees. Also, a local doctor says the players are facing an added risk. Here's NBC Bay Area's Anusha Rasta. The poor air quality in the Bay Area is breaking one record after another. 44 spare the air alerts so far in 2020. That's too short of the all time record of 46 for a calendar year. We've just really had bad air quality this year. We already broke our record for consecutive spare the air alerts when we had 30 earlier, and that more than doubled our previous record of uh, 14. Today, Santa Clara had an air quality index of 150 to 200 in the unhealthy red zone but not bad enough to cancel practice for the 49ers. Right now, the team isn't worried about the air quality getting in the way, telling us in a statement, air quality in Santa Clara is at a level where we can still practice today. Current forecasts say that air quality will not be an issue at game time. The NFL makes the decision to adjust the game if needed. The NFL has said they'll consider postponing or moving a game if the air quality index is higher than 200. But a Bay Area pulmonologist warns that it doesn't need to be that high to do harm. Yes, absolutely. An air quality index over 200 is clearly unsafe for anybody to be outdoors and exerting themselves. But there is going to be a health risk to 49ers players uh, if the air quality index is in the 150 to 200 range. The current spare the air alert has been extended through the weekend until Tuesday. The Bay Area Air Quality Management District expects that we'll have red air quality above 150 in the Santa Clara Valley tomorrow and possibly Sunday, but not a number over 200. So get ready for some football under hazy skies. In Santa Clara, Anusha Rasta, NBC Bay Area News.